welcome to episode 18 of my building the black pearl and as you can see i've made some pretty good progress and i know i'm biased but anytime you make something like this you get a little bit of pride in the work that you've done and uh, the masts are not permanently in place they're just temporarily in place but let me give you some close-ups of the ship and give some things that turned out not as well as I expected and things that turned out better than expected maybe. But there's a couple of issues that, that I would do different now that I've had a little bit more experience. I'm excited to get started on putting the masts in place and doing the rope work. I know that is some of the tedious work. That's really what makes the ship. As soon as you start doing rope work, uh, it's, it, it comes to life. So let me give you a little bit closer look at my journey thus far. I have almost finished this cover for my wiring. I made it a little different than what I had originally planned. All I've done is taken a solid piece, made kind of a tapered fit all around, and it's slanted a little more than the original. So I'm going to give it some final sanding to this, get it stained, and just tack it into place. It's staying in there pretty good on its own. That way, if I ever need to, I can pry it off and get to that wiring in case I snag one of these lamps and break it off. So I think that'll give me better access for the future. For the close-up, I'm going to start at the bow of the ship, work my way back. And to start out, this particular piece, I wanted darker. So you can see how I've aged that, and that's not just done by stain. Remember when I burnished the small boxes. Well, I took all the masts and burnished them with a little blowtorch. And that gave me that aged look and that's what I wanted. I pre-drilled some holes where I know some rigging lines go because if I pre-drill those and on my drill press I can get them perfectly centered. An area up front that I would do differently now is this lattice work. And remember there was a triangular piece under here that I didn't see that it went on and I didn't put on until after I put this in place. I think it would have helped me get that in better position. The anchors that I did the copper leaf on, I'm very happy with. There's some dark discoloration when I darkened them. I may use some different paints to oh, just get some um, weathered look. You know how copper, when exposed to water, can get an aqua tint to it. I may just put some little highlights on that. I'm very happy that I put the uh, copper strips on the wood to hold it in place and I will probably age those so those will end up being very dark. I haven't decided how I'm going to place the anchors yet. Happy with the work I did on this and the little hook and the pulleys on that, uh, that piece there. Cat something, I forget what it's termed also. I'm not decided where I'm going to put some of the cargo that I made. I actually like it up here in the front. And there's two different groups of cargo that I've made there out of those boxes. I did a short video on that. You may notice in the buckets it looks like there's some dirty water or water. I slightly tinted some Gorilla Glue and then put it in the bucket and let it dry. So that's what's in the buckets. I did that with all of them. From this angle you can see below the lifeboat you can see the flickering uh, light below those grates that's one of the extra lighting effects that I did that'll be very subtle but it'll show up better at night an area that I'm not happy with is this unit and my recommendation would be to put this mast and these parts kind of build them on the mast so that they're straight mine was a little off kilter I had to do some sanding on the inside and it uh, it just didn't work out as well as I'd liked there's also on that Gorilla Glue it has a very shiny uh, finish and you can see some oozed out I'm not happy with that so on that Gorilla Glue that I've been using be very careful because it will look waxy now if you want to have a spilled water look that would work pretty well I am not that great of a mast builder, so we'll see how they turn out long term. I did burnish these also. And here's the first character that I made. Again, he's not really in place, 
This is just temporary. So they do all have to be hand painted. And then I made that lantern that he's holding, so we'll see in time if that's where I keep it. And I'll trim off some of those extra wires that are there. took one of the barrels and I drilled it out. Well, first I cut the top off, uh, drilled it out. And then, again, that Gorilla Glue that I've been using, I put that in there and it dries clear. So that looks like a water bucket to me. So I'm happy with those. My cannonballs have turned out to my satisfaction. You can see the little miniature barrels in the center of the screen that are stacked and I uh, wrapped the copper wire around those. I'd flattened the cap copper wire first. I think I have already documented that. Back here by the captain's wheel on that uh, table you can see I've done some work there. But if you look closely, I have some maps inside the center console, one on the floor, a parchment on top, a small knife, and some gold coins on the left side. Those gold coins, I found some glitter that if you look closely, it's little um, octagon-shaped gold glitter, and they look like coins when you set them. It's important just to do a few if you're going to choose to do that. And you can probably see to the left, there's a treasure chest that I've also made. And I had some, I can't remember what it was. It was something made out of leather, thin leather. So I saved a little strip of it and then cut and made the, uh, oh, the, it serves as hinges and uh, wraps around the entire little box. I may make a video on how to make those. I'll try and get a view of the treasure chest and then change the angle and see if you see the sparkle. Here's the finished product on the back. Lights working everywhere. I also would have done a better job of having these stand up straight, the two outside ones. They're slanted just a little bit too much. Um, but I've decided that that's it's okay with me, but really they should be more vertical than that. There's a little bit too much slant to them. There's the piece that I used to cover the wire, and then I did end up taking some of the, uh, the boards or planking and covered that. That needs a coat of tongue oil yet, so it'll look similar to the deck and other places on the ship. One area that I had a minor uh, missing piece, there were just enough belaying pins almost. I was short two. So this one here and corresponding one over here are wood ones that I already have and I just had to sand down the, the uh, tip of it to get it to fit in those particular holes. I can paint those gold or I could contact uh, ZHL and I'm sure they would send me some additional ones. But I'm fine with that the way it is. I could just leave two out. After all, it is a pirate ship, and I'm sure they lose things from time to time. The electrical wires you see here, I will pull those tight, and I think they'll just look like parts of rope work. So now you can see both sides under the stairs on the left and the one on the right. So those I'm very happy with. Again, that's, that's subtle lighting, but I like that. There's a good view. One thing that I would reconsider, and that would either eliminate the light that I put up here, or I could, I could keep that, but I really wish I would have put some lighting underneath this skylight. It really should have some flickering lights under there. So if you're considering doing a lighting package, keep that in mind. That's one of the things I wish I would have done differently. So I'm not too far away from rope work and making the rope ladders and starting to install yards. Here's a sample of what I've done with the yard arms. And this is uh, this example is number 45. It's this one right here. They are marked which part you need. So for this little pulley, 
use 43. And there's two of them. It doesn't mark both of them, but notice there's two. And then on the ends are 44, and they're kind of pear-shaped. And there's a diagram over here on how to make that. The loop on the bottom is what holds it on, and that's that little um, like handle grip type shape that I made on the end of the yard, if you recall in the earlier video. And then this shows it as two separate pieces, but really it's just one piece, so I just wrapped a piece of string around that top. Each one of those has two holes, so there's probably two ropes that will go to those. These have just a single. And then these are, uh, I think they're climbing ropes for the sailors, so they can walk across on them. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what those are for. And there's one rope support that goes down. Now, I decided to use rope that I have that's a, just a tiny bit thicker than what it calls for, because I want to make sure that I have plenty of rope. So I decided for these foot ropes, I would use the little thicker, and then this little down support was another thread that I already have. So I'm, I'm saving some thread for when I do the majority of the work on the ship because I don't want to run out. And I think these will look fine being just a little bit thicker. So that's how I'm going to do each one of these. I just wanted to point out what to watch for. They are clearly marked as far as what goes where. And I also, there's a separate drawing that shows the positioning of this rope, the, the uh, walking rope or where you can walk down the yard. So it gives you an idea where it goes. So what I did is I marked the center. You can't see you can't see on the video, but I put a small pencil mark where the center of this yard was. And then you can see I put each one of those just a little bit off to the side and then all the way out to the end. I hope that's clear. I have a lot of these to make. I'm just going to show the one, but they are clearly marked out how they go. And then they're also marked out where all these ropes go, but that'll be a future. In addition to this type knot, it also shows these two types. And I just don't have the patience or the, the eye clarity, even though I use a magnifying system to make this loop. I have just been spinning it and putting a dab of super glue on it to make this type of a, a knot. But it does clearly show. Wrap it three times, tuck it under cinch it down. And I may give that a try. I just, my first attempt, it was very tedious. So we'll see as, as the work proceeds. I've been pre-assembling some of the rope work on the masts and making good progress. This happens to be tag number 45. And this one I did not have an issue with, but number 50 I did. So let me show you what I discovered. And if you're building this particular model, there's a step that you might miss if uh, if you don't look at the plans closely. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So here's uh, the mass number 50 and it does not show any uh, pulleys or anything, any ropes work coming down on this view. This is the one that you view to get the length of the, each individual mast. All the other ones do show different pulleys and the number of pulley that it is. However, 50 does not. But when you go over to start rope work, over on the left hand side of the diagram, here's 50 and it actually shows three pulleys, all number 43. So that's something to be aware of. You'd probably catch it over here, but I was using the other diagram to determine where the pulleys went. So you'll need to look at both sides to make sure you get those right. Here's the completed yard arm, part number 50. Have those in place, but while I'm here, I wanna discuss these pulleys you're probably not going to be able to see on camera, but there's a groove on one side, but it did not come through on the other, and really it should be on both sides, in my opinion, as well as at least one of the tops. And I think it's just a matter of the laser did not get it cut completely. So what I've done, just taking my time, this is like a triangular file, and where the one that already has the groove, then on one end... I've transferred that across. Then I go to the back side, and then I also make 
that groove in the center on the back side. So there's the one I just made. And there's one on the top side. I finished the yards as far as uh, what I want to get accomplished before I start trying to figure out how I attach them to the ship. And notice that they all do have the crosswalk rope on them, with the exception of 48, which really is a different part. It's not a traditional yard, and you'll see that further in the construction of the ship. Just to repeat, as I had mentioned earlier, that you need to check both this section of the uh, blueprint or schematic and this one for what these all should have on them and what they look like. There was just one or two that uh, didn't show up on this side exactly as they did on this side. So that's it for episode 18. I'm going to take a couple weeks off, soak in some sunshine in the sunshine state, and then come back and continue working on this. It's a great winter project. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>